Hey guys, my name is Zach Schreiber. I'm here to take you through a 30 minute at home workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna go through a warm up or a range of motion series called the greatest stretch in the world. So it starts off lifting your right foot as high as you can or leg as high as you can with a single leg balance. Big step out to runner's lunge. You're looking to straighten this back leg all the way. Get this to about 90 degrees. Hands on the outside of your foot. Once you get that done, we're lifting our right hand straight up to the sky, lifting as high as you can. Back down, sliding your hips back, lifting your toes for a hamstring stretch. Then we're gonna go ahead and step through with your other foot. So left foot goes up nice and high. Big step out to runner's lunge. Now our left hand goes up as we look to the sky. Back down, lifting your toes to the sky. Good, so we're gonna do that two more times on each side. So lifting up, out, big twist, back down, slide your hips back for hamstring, going the other way. Left foot, out, left arm is still going up, on that left side, back down, lifting your toes. Turn around, one more time on each side. So this is a good, quick way to go through the range of motion. You're getting ankle, knee, hip, thoracic spine and shoulders through range of motion here while stretching the hamstring and firing the glute. Last time for the left side. Big step out, lifting, back down, lifting for hamstrings. Next we're gonna go through a little bit of shoulder prep to help with our posture. I know we've all been sitting a lot lately, so I wanna get those shoulders rolled back, squeezing between your shoulder blades. So we're gonna lay down on the ground, Thumbs go up in the air for external rotation, helping the ligaments in your shoulder. Squeezing between your shoulder blades with our thumbs to the sky. We're gonna lift up and down 10 times. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The next thing we're gonna do, like we're holding the barbell over our head or we're doing the YMCA. Thumbs are still up in the air and we're squeezing between our shoulders 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The very last one, we leave our thumbs right here, but then sink our elbows down towards our hips and make the shape of the W. But when we lift up, we want to lift our wrist and our elbow off the ground at the same time, not elbow first. Same thing, driving between your shoulder blades, squeezing them together ten times. seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, from there, we're gonna go through a little bit of coordination training and teach your core to keep tight through coordination. So we have a series that we'll go through throughout this workout. This one is called bed bugs. We're then gonna flip it over and go to a crawling position, and then we'll stand it up, go to a march, a skip, and then a sprint eventually throughout this workout series. So the dead bugs, we're laying down on our back, Knees go up in the air, arms are up in the air like this. We're gonna drop the left arm to the ground and our right leg to the ground. Biggest thing when we drop down, we don't wanna arch our back. Keep your core engaged, keeping your low back on the ground, and then we're gonna switch like a running motion. Here, you can go nice and slow and control, keeping your back smashed to the ground. Back and forth for 10 reps on each side. So we're at six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You can go ahead and rest from there. Right after that, we're going to continue prepping our core with a plank. So we're going to do a one minute plank. I'll set you up with a timer right here. So with a plank, your elbow is right underneath your shoulders and then you have no sway in your low back. You want a nice flat back. If the plank gets too challenging for you, just drop your knees straight down to the ground. The biggest thing, don't step all the way up because that's not gonna be a lot of work. You still want a challenge, you just want to modify the challenge throughout this workout. So we're gonna start our minute plank right now. Ready, go. You can squeeze your quads, the front of your legs, your thighs, your glutes, and your abs. 
you want to make it a little bit harder, you can scoot your elbows out in front of you. Keep your head down towards the ground. No swaying your little back, pushing through your heels, pulling them away from you. We're halfway right now. If you need to drop down, go ahead and still keep your core engaged. Don't just let your stomach sway down. Keep it engaged here. 20 seconds left. You can stay up, stay strong. Squeeze your abs. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. From there, we're going to our back and start to prep our glute and our hamstring for our workout. So uh, this leg here is just gonna be a passive leg hanging out up in the air. We're gonna lift our right toes and drive our heel through the ground as hard as you can, driving your hips up to the sky, nice and square. So we're gonna do that 10 times, so two, three, four. When I drive up, I'm not arching my back here. I'm keeping the core engaged just like a plank, driving up and down. Eight, nine, and 10, and then we're gonna switch sides. So now right foot is up in the air, just hanging out, driving our left heel through the ground. Ready, go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, and you can rest. So that's gonna be our warm up for the day. Um, we're now gonna be prepped to go into our circuit. If you wanna grab water, now's the time to do so, and then I'll explain our circuit to you. All right guys, so I got my water. I'm gonna just put it down here next to my mat, keep it nice and close in case I need it. You guys are free to grab water whenever you'd like. We're gonna go through the meter of our workout now, the circuit part. First, I'm gonna show you how, through a couple of reps at each station, uh, how we're gonna do the stations. But then, for the second and third round, we're gonna jump on the timer and work out a Tabata pace. So the first station is gonna be squat. We're gonna keep our chest up, eyes up, and sink our butt straight down. You want your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes out slightly, and you wanna track your knees towards your uh, second toe dropping thighs to almost parallel to the ground. So sinking down, we're gonna do 10 of them. So number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Well, now we're gonna move to side plank. So that's squats are station one of the circuit. We're gonna have six stations and circle through them at 30 seconds on and 15 off. So we're gonna do squats for two sets and then we move to side plank. We're gonna do side plank. So just like your regular plank, elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. Now the next trick is to put this shoulder directly on top. So you're in a nice straight line here. If you start to slouch a little bit, you can get a little bit sore or tender through the shoulder. But if you keep it in a nice straight line, it helps a lot. The other thing, stack your feet or put your top foot up in front keeping your put, hip push forward and hips to the sky. We're gonna go through for, 30, or for 20 seconds here, holding it nice and strong. If this is way too much for you, you have two options. You can take your front foot and plant here to aid yourself, or drop down to your knees, stacking your knees. When we do that, we're not in a, the shape of a C. We're gonna keep our hips drawn forward here for you. Good, and rest. Then we're gonna go to the other side. Up. Ready, set, go. So you're gonna be up here, nice straight line here, one foot in front of the other, here. Remember this nice straight line from fingertips all the way through your shoulders. Keep the hips pushed forward. You should feel this right through your obliques. Two, one, and rest. Good job. So during our warm up, I explained that we're gonna go through the series of dead bugs, crawling to marching. Now during this part of the workout, we're gonna do our crawling. So we're moving from tabletop position. So nice flat back, knees are gonna slightly come off the ground and we're gonna move opposite arm, opposite leg, just like our dead bugs. So right hand, left leg. 
left hand, right leg. Moving forward and backwards, keeping your core engaged, just like you're running to make you faster. Back and forth. I'd like everyone to go about five feet forward, five feet backwards twice. You can go ahead. Good. So the next one we're going to go through is lunging. So just like our squat, our chest and our head are always up, but we're going to step backwards with our lunge. So right foot goes back, sink our hips straight down, keeping eyes and chest forward, and standing, alternating legs. We're going to move down. We're going to go to 90 degrees to 90 degrees, back and forth. So we're going to do five on each side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, and rest. So when you're doing your lunge, something to look out for. When you step back, don't let this knee come across. Keep it out, if anything. Just keep stepping, keeping it out. Okay? After that, we're doing push-ups. So to learn push-ups, I want everyone to keep their fingertips pointed forwards, not here. You want to push them forward. Elbows are at a 45 degree angle from your rib cage out. So your nice, good plank position. Shoulders are up in front of your hands. You're going straight down, straight up. Okay? If you need help with them, we have three options. If you're at home, you can go up to a countertop position which would be a little bit higher than this, but you go down and up will be a little bit easier. Or a lot of people at home have a chair. You can grab a chair and go here and up. A little bit harder than the countertop. Our third position, if you need help, but don't have anything around you, is to go from your knees. But just like our plank and our warm up, we can keep our knees directly underneath us and go straight down and straight up. All right, so to wrap up our sixth station of the circuit, we're gonna do 10 push-ups together. So remember, fingertips are pointing forward, shoulders are shifted out in front of you. We're going straight down with your elbows at 45 degrees and up, pushing the ground away from you, driving straight up. So that's the floor, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. So that shows our six different stations that we're gonna go through during our circuit. Like I was saying earlier, we're gonna do two sets at each station, two more times through the circuit. But we're gonna be on a timer. So when the timer is green, we're gonna be working for 30 seconds. When it's red, we're gonna take a rest. And then we'll start back over. So a lot of people can get a lot of reps done in 30 seconds. Some people can. Work at your own pace. If you need to pace yourself, that's great. If you need a little extra push, listen for our modifications. I'll try and make it a little bit harder. Grab some water before we get started. All right, guys, now that we're all ready, we're gonna get started on our Tabata timer on, during our circuit. So now that we know the movements, we're gonna start off with squats. Like I said, we're doing two sets at uh, 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off. So we're gonna start with our squats. Ready, go. So clock timer is now green down in that corner and we're gonna work. So doing squats, keeping our chest and eyes up the whole time, pushing out on your knees slightly, letting them track to your second toe, trying to get all the way down to parallel. So you have 15 seconds left, keep your own pace. If you can keep up with me, great. If you're faster than me, even better. Just think about good form the whole time. So you have five seconds to go, good. And we can take a rest. So we have 15 seconds to rest with our timer being red. We have one more set of squats. So if squats get really hard for you, just shorten the distance down. Don't go all the way down. If they're easy for you, go all the way to the bottom, staying all the way up. Good, we're working. 25 seconds left. Keep your chest up and down. 15 seconds, we take a break, and then we start with side planks. Good, and rest. And we're gonna lower down to side planks. Remember what our options are. We have knees, we can spot ourselves with our top foot, or we can hold it strong out here for 30 seconds. 
Five some more seconds to rest. Good. We're up. Nice straight line between the shoulders. We're not slouched down here. Nice and tall with your hips. Twelve seconds to go. Remember, you can always drop down, but keep form tight the whole time. Good, and then we'll switch sides. So, working on side planks is a great exercise for bracing through the rib cage and your obliques. This helps with a lot of rotation. Listen up, nice and tall. The bracing can also be great for anti-rotation for runners. Halfway there, you can drop down if you need to. Keep pushing yourself. It's going to be a little bit tiring through your obliques down here. Good. Now we're going to set ourselves up for a crawl. So we set yourselves up, touch left knee to left hand. Nice flat back, and we'll wait for the timer. So lift up your knees, and we're crawling forwards and backwards. Nice flat back. If this is way too much for you, you can drop to your knees, or go back to the warm up, and work on your dead bug. It's the same exact thing, keeping your core engaged. If you're trying to make sure you have perfect crawling, don't let your hips wiggle around. Nice flat back. Good, and rest. Do one more set of crawling. There we go. Keep your coordination forwards and backwards. If you ever get stuck, drop your knees, reset. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Moving forward, getting in the rhythm. Good, rest. So our very last station is going to be, oh, I'm sorry, not very last station, our uh, next station is going to be lunges. Always step backwards with your lunge. Go. Work at your own pace. Think about form. Eyes and chest are up. Knee is a nice straight line, not coming across here. Back foot is not dropping in here. We're straight back. Alternating, getting to 90 degrees, 90 degrees without touching the ground with our back knee. Good, rest. 15 second rest and then we have one more set of those for this round. We're gonna do the same round one more time with a couple of more modifications. Ready, go. If you're having a hard time keeping your balance, try and push your big toe, your front foot, push your big toe into the ground. It will help with your balance. 10 seconds. See if you can get three more. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Okay, one of our biggest challenges are our workouts now. It's our push up station. Remember your options you have countertop, chair, the ground, or down on your knees. Keep your fingers pushed forward for you. So everyone starts up, tight core, straight line, dropping down, working for 30 seconds. Good, as you get tired, you can always change your options. Keep working the whole time, here. 
Try and sink your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your glutes tight. Good job. Rest for 15 seconds. We have one more set of those. Thirty seconds worth of work, and we can grab some water. Ready? Go. Keep going. Push down. Drive up. Good, and rest. So now we're halfway, grab some water. We'll take a short break before we start with our squats again. All right, so now we're working on round three. I'm gonna give you a couple of options to make it a little bit harder, but remember what we did in round two. If you need to stay there, that's okay. Just keep working the whole time. Keep moving for 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off. So we're gonna start off with squats. We can go to jump squats if you want to. But with our jump squats, when you jump, don't allow your knees to come together. You wanna to keep them out on takeoff and landing. But then also on your landing, no jumping and stopping yourself. You wanna reduce the impact by jumping, landing soft. Jumping back up here, okay? So that's where your first station. Ready? And we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Set, go. So you can jump, or go back to your normal squats. Even if you have to shorten them, that's great. Just over here if you need to. Here, even chest up. Again, on your takeoff, no jumping from here. No landing with a heavy chest here. You want to keep your chest up, sink your butt. Continuous motion. Your legs are probably getting heavy. Keep pushing through. Good. And rest. One more set of those. Jumping or regular squats. 10 seconds to catch your breath. Five seconds. And go for squats. See if you can keep up with me. If you're not jumping, try and add some pace to it. Keep good form. Knees aren't wobbling. Still tracking your second toe. Chest and eyes stay up. The whole time. Nice job, done with squats. You can go ahead and sit on the mat for your rest and set yourself up for side plank. 10 seconds to catch your breath. And lift up and go. So holding here strong, let's see how long you can make it for. This is a great exercise you can do while recovering. That's the fun part about Tabata Timer, is you set yourself up to raise your heart rate and then let it fall. If you need a drop, you can go ahead and do that. If you want it harder, go ahead and lift this top leg. Nice and strong. You have five seconds to go. Good, rest. And we'll go to the other side. Lift up, nice and straight. So hips should be pushed towards the front of the room. Lift your hips up high. You go here if you want to make it a little bit harder. We're halfway. Good, rest. Now we're all gonna go up to our feet. So we're taking our crawl to a standing motion. We're in a march, but opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep it nice and straight, keep your core nice and engaged. Ready, go. Just marching nice and tall. You can add a little bit of pace to it. You gotta keep that heart rate up, but think about form. Drive those knees all the way up tall. 15 seconds to go. 10 to go. 
Draw your toes up, heads up tall. Good, and rest. Our next challenge for that phase is a skip. So same exact form, but you're gonna push off your toe. Going straight up, straight down. Ready, go. Twenty seconds. Halfway. Ten to go. Four and a half minutes for your whole workout. Good and rest. Next we're lunging. So we're stepping backwards. You're gonna chest up. Here. Five seconds to rest, ready to work, set, go. Stepping backwards. When you step backwards, it eliminates sheer force across your knee. When people lunge forward, all their weight transfers straight through their knee. So you always want to keep your chest up, step backwards, and avoid knee wobble. Nice and strong. Remember, push down on that front toe. Good. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. You got your 15 seconds rest time. And we're back at lunges. Working for the last time. 30 seconds, you're done with lunges. Good. Next, we're going to set ourselves up for a plank challenge. So we're going to work from low plank up to high plank. So for the first 30 seconds, you're going to be leading with the right hand, pushing up the high plank, back down with the right hand. Ready? Go. High plank, low plank. High plank, low plank. If it's too much for you, just hold your high plank up here, nice and strong. Good push up form. Getting ready. Keep leading with that right hand. Eight seconds left. Good. Take a little break. One more set of those, one minute worth of push ups, and we'll be finished with our workout. Keep the water going. Start off in low play, leading with your left hand this time. Nice and tall. Ten seconds to go. Good. Nice job. So take your full rest and we're going to get ready for push ups. Remember your options you have the countertop, the chair, the ground with your knees, or regular push ups. We're going to get set. Go. Do as many as you can in good form, and then you're always welcome to change. Ten more seconds. Good job. So I just went through three different options with our push-ups, but no matter the options I changed, my hands never left this position. I never want them to start going here because the distance in here shortens. Always keep them forward and ears away from your uh, shoulders. Back for 30 more seconds. You can push it and get through it.
Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. In on the way down, out on the way up. Think about squeezing your glutes, just like we did in that glute bridge. Five seconds, you can get a couple more. Good, and rest. That's gonna be your complete workout. Thank you guys for joining me for your half an hour workout.